good morning students today we are going to learn how to edit and format cells in microsoft excel package so you know workbook and what is worksheet so workbook this entire environment is called as workbook now currently i have opened a workbook and this workbook may contain number of worksheets so currently i am having only one sheet attached to it if i want some other seats then i can simply click on this plus symbol to add a worksheet to my workbook okay workbook is a collection of worksheet next last session i discussed how to edit content inside the cell so whatever the cell you want to store some data select select it and double click on it if you double click on it you will get a vertical cursor once you got the cursor now it is ready to store a data type a, type whatever item you want you simply type using keyboard the same will be available inside the cell so in this way you can type content inside the microsoft office excel software today we are going to discuss how to edit edit means how to make changes in an existing data okay so either you may overwrite the data or you may modify the content present in your data anyhow so for example now i just want to edit the content present in this fifth c5 cell so how will you locate a cell address in the name box so this is called as name box so i just want to edit the content present in c5 instead of tv i just want to type smart tv so how will you edit double click on the cell you will get a vertical cursor then move the cursor accordingly using arrow keys and add the word whatever you want now i want to add smart tv okay next instead of mixer grinder i just want to change it to grinder so i am deleting the content so in this way you can edit the values present in the excel sheet instead of 56 i want to change it to 78 okay now hope you understand how to edit the content present in microsoft excel see uh, now next to it uh, you should know how to select a particular column particular row and the entire worksheet okay so now i am telling you one by one so if you want to select a quantity column what you can do means see if you uh, press keep the cursor nearer to the d column you will get a uh, dark color downward arrow so if you click on it see the entire column is selected in the same way if you want to select an entire row for example the fifth row in the same way go to fifth nearer to fifth row you please keep the cursor you will get a different mouse pointer click on it the entire row will be selected next if you want to select the entire worksheet can you see this please place the cursor at the corner of worksheet left corner of the worksheet you will get a plus symbol please follow my mouse so you will you will get a plus symbol if you click on it the entire worksheet will be selected and if you want to select a specified cell you should use mouse using mouse you can drag and drop drag and drop up to the last column or last row you need uh, the selection okay so in this way you can select using mouse if you want to select using keyboard select the first cell and then press shift key and press arrow key now i am right uh, towards right hand side i want to select so i am pressing right arrow if you want to select towards left hand side select left arrow key and if you want to select downwards see in this way by pressing shift and arrow keys you can select the respective cells using keyboard so these are all the various ways to select the cells present in your document sorry worksheet you should say worksheet okay now next format what is format formatting is changing the appearance of the content present in the cell okay so other in other way you can call it as with the help of formatting tools you can make the worksheet content a attractive one an attractive one okay so see now for doing formatting 
we are having a separate uh, tab sorry separate group called font group see here under home tab we are having group called font group and alignment group so using this you can format the cells now you can change the font style using this so in your lower classes in microsoft word and microsoft powerpoint software you might have the experience of using this format cells yes hope you could uh, remember such uh, thing so whatever the font you want you can choose then you can also change the size for your data and also the other different styles bold italic and then underline and see the important thing is borders so whatever the border you want you can now i just want to give all borders uh, still many more options are available see here you can also set the line color and also line style double line dark line dotted line so whatever the line style you want you can also choose okay and you can also set the line color for the line border in this way you can do formatting for font font color see here this is called as font color so you can choose font color and you can also fill fill the selection using the specified color okay so now as a whole i have did uh, for the entire table i have did as a whole but if you want to apply colors for each and every column or each and every row you can do it using the same formatting tools available on the home tab font group okay now see quantity alone i want to be with the, a different color so what do you have to do you should go to fill and choose the different color so now it will be distinguished from others in the same way you can also apply some other color and some other font color for all other things so with the help of colors you can easily identify so this color map to this field in this way you can distinguish between various fields in your various columns in your sheet so that's all about editing and formatting cells in excel sheet hope you had a good knowledge on these two topics so next session we will see some more options available under alignment number and other tabs okay thank you bye children